Welcome to Google Nest. We're going to show you how to set up and install the Nest Hello Video Doorbell with the Indoor Power Adapter. The Indoor Power Adapter lets you easily power Hello by plugging it into an outlet inside your home. Do not plug the adapter into an outdoor power outlet. This lets Hello work in homes where there isn't a wired doorbell and chime already, or the doorbell's transformer isn't compatible. Once you have Hello installed, the Nest app will notify you when someone rings Hello and show you who's at the door. You can also use a Google Home device as a chime and to see who's at the door. There are a few simple steps. Start setup with the Nest app. Drill a hole for the power adapter. Install the doorbell. Finish setup with the app. To get started, you'll need the indoor power adapter and most of what's included in the box with your Nest Hello but you won't be installing the chime connector or the wire extenders. You'll also need some simple tools, a Phillips screwdriver, a pencil, a power drill, and a Phillips bit. To drill the hole for the power adapter, you'll need a long wood or masonry drill bit at least nine millimeters in diameter. Since you'll be drilling completely through the wall, be sure to measure the wall thickness so you know the drill bit is long enough. For setup with the Nest app, you'll need a compatible phone or tablet. Be sure to have your Wi-Fi password handy, too. A broadband internet connection with at least 2 megabits of upload speed is recommended to connect Hello to the internet. Go to nest.com requirements for more information. If you don't feel comfortable drilling through your home's exterior wall, we recommend that you get a professional to install Nest Hello. You can contact a Nest Pro installer in your area with our online Pro Finder. They'll set up and install Nest Hello and answer any questions you have. If you're new to Nest, go to the Apple App Store or Google Play to download the free Nest app. Launch the app to create a free account. Once you're signed into your account, tap the plus sign to add your Nest Hello. If you're already a Nest customer, tap the gear icon in the top right corner of the app home screen, then select Add a Product. You'll scan Nest Hello's code with your phone's camera. If you're having trouble scanning the code, make sure you have good lighting and that you're not casting a shadow. Start with your phone about a foot away and slowly move it closer to the code. It doesn't need to fill the box in the app to scan. You can also try scanning the QR code on the envelope in the box. If you still can't scan the code, tap Continue Without Scanning so you can type it in manually. You'll find the six-character entry key on the back of your hello and on the envelope that came in the box. The Nest app will then begin the installation steps. Tap Skip on this step since you'll be following the instructions in this video to install the indoor power adapter. First, find a good location to install Hello. We recommend that you place it about 4 feet or 1.2 meters high. This is where most doorbells are located. Use Hello's wall plate to mark where you'll drill a hole for the power adapter wires. The hole should be positioned so it lines up with the bottom half of the wall plate's hole. Before you drill, go to your home's breaker box and turn off power to anything close to where you're installing Hello, such as porch lights and power outlets. This will protect you during installation. Try turning the porch lights on to confirm the power is off. If you need to, you can also turn off the main power switch at the breaker box. Also, keep in mind that you'll need to know where any in-wall plumbing and electric wiring are. Check the building codes where you live to make sure your installation is safe. If you want to change the angle of Nest Hello's camera, use the included wedge. This can be useful if your doorbell is located in a corner or close to a wall that blocks the camera's view. You can flip the wedge to reverse the angle if needed. Stick the adhesive side of the wedge to the back of the wall plate. Next, you'll drill a hole for the power adapter wires. Now you'll mount the wall plate. Start by drilling pilot holes with a 3 seconds drill bit. Make sure the Nest logo is at the bottom and that the power cable will come through the bottom half of the wall plate hole. The horizontal screw will let you straighten the wall plate if needed. You can use a level to check that it's straight. Use the included masonry bit and wall anchors if you're drilling into stone, stucco, or other hard materials. Slip the grommet over the adapter cable. Then run the cable through the hole to the outside. You can use a stiff piece of wire to help pull the cable through. Paint the grommet, cable, and cable clips if you want, but don't paint the adapter. Don't plug the adapter in yet. You might damage it if the wire ends touch each other. 
Connect the wires to Nest Hello. It doesn't matter which terminal you connect a wire to. Make sure the wires point down, not up, so any excess can be tucked back into the wall. To attach Nest Hello, simply slide the top onto the wall plate and press down until it clicks into place. If it doesn't seat properly or you don't hear a click, recheck that you've tucked any excess wire back into the hole. If you ever need to remove Nest Hello, use the included tool to release it. Now you can go back to the app. Skip ahead until the app asks you to turn the power back on. Then turn the power on. Now you can plug the power adapter into an indoor wall outlet. You can use an extension cord if needed. And you can use the included clips to hold the cable in place. Nest Hello will turn on. And its light ring will turn blue. If the light ring doesn't turn on, double check that the adapter is plugged into a live power outlet. Then unplug the adapter and plug it back in. Next, make sure the wires are properly connected to the back of Hello and that the screws are snug. Now you'll finish setup with the app. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi password. First, tell the app where you've installed Nest Hello. Next, the app will connect Hello to Wi-Fi. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. If you already have a Nest product installed in your home, Nest Hello will try to get your Wi-Fi info from it. If Hello can't connect to your Wi-Fi network, you can try moving your router a bit closer or adding a Wi-Fi extender. Now that Nest Hello is connected to Wi-Fi and the app, the app will test the video. Ring the doorbell to check that it's working. You should get a notification from the app that someone's at your door. Once you've confirmed your doorbell is sending notifications to the app, you'll choose a few more settings. Pick the language Hello will speak to visitors and turn on audio recording. If you have a Google Home Hub or other device with Google Assistant, you can have it sound the doorbell chime and announce visitors. If you haven't already, set up your Google Home Hub with the Google Home app. Just plug it in, open the app, and follow the instructions. Now you'll connect Hello to your Google Home Hub. Open the Google Home app and tap Add, then Set Up Device. Next, select Have Something Already Set Up? Then choose Nest from the list and follow the steps. Go to Hello Settings in the app and turn off the chime. Then turn on Visitor Announcements. When you're done connecting Hello to your Google Home Hub, give it a try. Press the doorbell again, and you should hear the bell sound and a spoken alert. Someone's at the front door. That's it. To learn more about the Nest Hello video doorbell and how to use it, visit our support site.